Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. And unfortunately, I never thought that we would be filming this video, nor did I think this was gonna happen. All but right, you sound so somber. Okay, so let me describe it. Hi guys, today you are going to watch a video about how our wedding got c -c 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 canceled because of the COVID-19 pandemic coronavirus. Shit is getting real. It is getting real. And are you happy? Because you don't sound very sad. Coronavirus. <laughs> okay, so it first started about three weeks ago. Obviously, everyone knows we were basically shut down on quarantine. Um, first, it was t no more than 25 people for gathering. And now it's 10. So... Initially, we had to cancel our Jack and Jill. Literally, the day that that announcement went on, it was literally, like, what, six days until our Jack and Jill. So we had to cancel that immediately, which was so heartbreaking because we had literally everything ready to go. We had all our baskets, everything. So just having to postpone that was super annoying. And at that point, I was just like, boom, Jack and Jill's done literally six days away um and we were kind of already devastated about that because we had all our family and friends coming i had family from new york coming she had family from all over coming um plus our friends and it was going to be a, a, a real dope gathering um plus we're we just had so much shit i still have so legit, much shit like in my all basement. this stuff is in our base maybe we should re that. i know you about to get us robbed <laughs> Whatever, we had like TVs and all type of stuff, just like a whole bunch of prizes over like 18, pro like oh, ra no, raffle like baskets. 20, yeah, like all prizes together were like 25. Yeah, so a lot of real good stuff. So we were excited and I was excited to get it out of the house. Um, but boom, that hit. It went from 200 people to 25 people. Um, so that was like step one. We're like, fuck, this happened. All right, how do we kind of navigate this? But then I started to get nervous and I was like, dang, what if our wedding gets canceled? You know, like it was only, well, it's March, so our wedding is in May. So I like thought of it, but didn't want to like come to terms with it. So Miguel literally was like, why don't you email our coordinator, like our wedding coordinator and just see if like we're still having our wedding because in, so we're having our wedding in a different state. Connecticut and Connecticut had for eight weeks no more than 50 people in a gathering and we're having more than 50 people at our wedding so I was like our wedding is in less than eight weeks so definitely there's a possibility anyways I emailed the lady and literally not even kidding two minutes two minutes later she calls me well the manager calls me and was like like I had this voice and I was just like oh my god I already knew it was coming so she was like, oh, yeah, we're, you know, we're not able to have anybody over like 50 people for the next eight weeks. So then she's like, well, here are the like the closest dates that we have available that you can, you know, have your wedding. So there was a day in July, but it was a Sunday and we were like, no, there's absolutely no way we're having a Sunday wedding. Right. And then she gave us. The next available date was freaking September. And I was like, oh my God, September? Like that's six months from now. Like we were almost at the end point, you know? Like we're ready for everything to be done. Like planning a wedding is stressful and we planned it. It's been over a year, literally over a year. So the fact that we were like, oh my God, we are almost there and like all the stress is gonna just be gone. We're gonna be able to live our lives or marry this and that. I was like, nope, it's not happening. So I literally like immediately was sobbing. Miguel came downstairs and he already knew. And we were just so like sad. Well, for me, I was sad. It was just like, I was literally heartbroken, like cried the, like that day and the next day I was so sad. Like two straight days. We were so sad. It was, it's crazy. As I'm freaking crying, I immediately, like, get in contact with all my vendors, like, immediately, just to even make sure. Because when I was on the phone, she was like, I don't want to, like, seem harsh. But she's like, if you don't take this date and, a and a, you know, the next bride calls me and wants your date, I have to give it to them. 
And I'm like, oh my God. I was like, I can't be, you know, like. I was so like, we're whatever. literally on the phone and had to pick yeah, a day. Yeah, I was just like, like all right, I'll pick so that stressful. day. Like, yeah, it was just so overwhelming. And it was like the options were so limited. It was like two Sunday weddings. Yeah, granted, they were in the middle of the summer. Yeah. Which now we don't even know if summer weddings it's are going to happen. Legit. So who knows, yeah. September, but, you know, fingers yeah. crossed. We're but, f- yeah, literally fingers crossed. But honestly, at this point, I don't even know if we're going to even have a wedding in September. Yeah. It's not even, it's not looking promising at all. But anyway, well, what do we have to do? So like for anyone watching this, yeah, so, when your wedding gets canceled, the first thing you do, you literally just start calling all your vendors. That's exactly what we did. So I call like I texted everybody, photographer, videographer, DJ, florist. You didn't text everybody. I text people. Everybody besides the photographer you, I handled. Like hair person, makeup, everyone. Within the first two days... And thank God all of them were available because for if that they day. yeah for that day because if they weren't then it's like dang you we already gave deposits like things are basically almost paid off and like you know like then you have to think about who's gonna do the it's just it just literally as soon as you get the news or think you know you have to postpone your wedding immediately get in contact with them and it's you have to understand like these people are small business owners the, the majority of them so like the florist the dj are mm-hmm. you know we have a popular dj so who knows it's a long weekend now that we're having our wedding on so who knows if they were booked for an event so right it was it was crazy it was like a mad dash and i still remember we took like another week to kind of we told off Obviously, our yeah, immediate family. Yeah, we told our immediate family, but yeah, we took at least a week to tell everybody else just because, you know, I mean, our immediate family is the most important and, you know, they kind of knew, like they were, nobody was upset. Well, obviously everybody was upset that it didn't happen, but everybody was like, as long as like everyone's healthy, like that was the main thing. Like we didn't have no issues of people saying, oh, we're not coming on your new date. It was like more like, yeah, there's nothing we could do as a couple because the whole world is going through this. So it was crazy. So if I could give advice on like anyone who's having a summer wedding, especially like in June that is coming up, I honestly would prepare for your wedding to be canceled. Other states are already canceling like the month of June. We're like the late like state i swear they want like every month they want to say another month another month that's what's gonna happen because may is gonna come and they're gonna say a whole another month so i suggest like june weddings and even possibly july weddings to get in contact with like your vendors your venue all that and just like first of all get in contact with your venue that's top priority and just see what other dates they have because honestly it's probably not gonna happen and we both had to reschedule and not to be a, like a Debbie Downer, but like it is what it is right now. Like it's it's crazy and like things are only getting worse. But um, we both had to reschedule our bachelorettes as well. Like I was supposed to go on my bachelor, my bachelorette in two weeks. That's not happening. Like I didn't even have a chance to cancel. They canceled for me and was like, yeah y'all not coming so we had to do that and that's in august and i honestly like i said i don't even know if that's gonna happen at this point that's right it wasn't in august i'm talking about it was two weeks from now in april yeah and now we reschedule it for august and i'm saying i don't even oh, know yeah. if that's gonna happen at you're this right. point you're right so it's like i mean we're gonna take a trip regardless if it's after the wedding it has to be after the wedding but it is what it is i mean there's nothing we can do like literally nothing we can do but i'm so sad because we freaking have planned this i'm not even kidding over a year and a half like it's just crazy we were almost there so like for me first i still feel like we should do something just to celebrate (laughs) but yeah so out of everything what was the saddest what were you most sad about just my thing is like when you prepare for something and like your mindset is that day or it's gonna happen that time period and then when like all of a sudden it's taken away from you it's like damn so like when I first when they first was like September I was like no absolutely not I'm not doing September like I mean I told her on the phone do it like yeah September but then when I got off the phone it's like 
that's not what my mindset was. I never imagined my wedding to be in September. Like, never. So for the fact that it is right now, that was probably the hardest point is, like, to, like, mentally just, you know, like, cope with the fact that your wedding's not happening in May. So for me, like, the best way to describe it is, like, if you go to, like, an amusement park or something and you get, like, you wait wicked long to get on, like, a roller coaster and then you're on the roller coaster you know when you get in on a roller coaster and like you can see the part that goes down not that shit was gonna go down but like you're excited right because the the big the first drop is gonna happen and it's like you're really excited and then the ride breaks down on you and then you just like shit what do i do now so that's where we are we're in the shit what do i do now stage um also i was also really sad about my bachelor party um all of our friends was going. We literally had Airbnbs booked, flights booked, everything. Um, mine's wasn't as easy as hers. Um, I will say Airbnb was great. They're, they first had put out like a little policy like, oh, it, if you're traveling during certain dates and the dates were like March something to April 14th, you could get a full refund. But we are leaving on April 16th. So I'm like, okay, what are they going to do? So it took us forever. And then they extended their their return policy and everything like that. So I was able to get my money back. My host made it an it issue. Difficult. Yeah, super difficult. So I literally had to call Airbnb. Obviously, super busy time on the phone for like an hour. But Airbnb was great. The host sucked. I probably won't use them. <laughs> the apartment was beautiful and everything. And we're super excited. Um, it's a lot of us. So we had like two apart- two apartments in one building. But he just made stuff difficult. But luckily, I got uh, my money back for the flights. We got, like, credit and stuff. So we're going back. We don't know exactly when we're going to go. We're kind of just in the wait and see mode to see how long this is going to last to figure out when, hopefully, in the summer, we get to take the bachelor party. Um, And it was, like, eight of us. So, yeah, sucks. That sucks. Because I was getting Miami ready. So that was the saddest part, your bachelor? Not the fact that we're not getting married? No, that was sad, but I'm talking about that was the second saddest part. I was getting ready for my bachelor party. All of us were. Yeah, I'm I'm mad that I wasn't going to, that I'm not going on a damn trip in two weeks. Like, damn, we would have been three weeks away from our wedding. I know. But I guess, like, we weren't meant to have our wedding. May 1st? I mean, everything happens. I don't months. know if you say all that. It's a fucking <laughs> pandemic. No, I know, but I'm saying, what are the odds? It wasn't odds? meant to happen. Uh, We've been engaged. 10,000 people died. That wasn't meant to happen. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying, like, we've been engaged for four, for four years, and what are the odds that the year that we picked to get married, this shit would happen? It's just crazy, because we literally, you know, it would be three weeks right now. Um, but I guess, like, shit happens. I don't know why... I mean, I know why, but, like, I don't know. I guess when we were planning the date anyway, it was either May or August. Remember that? And then the reason why we didn't do August, because we're, like, we're, our date to when we first started dating is May 5th. So we were, like, let's do it the same month. Like, let's get married the same month. So it's, like, all consistent. So we're, like, oh, yeah, let's pick May. And that was me, right? I yeah. That. I wanted that. And then, um, then I was... Now that I think about it, I'm like, you know what? I always wanted a summer wedding, and May is spring, and I have allergies like crazy. So me having a freaking May wedding, I don't even know how that would happen. I would have had a pop a pill before walking down that aisle. <laughs> so I don't know. I guess you know September wedding is beautiful. It's still summer. It's still hot. But imagine if your eyes would have been swollen. I know walking, walking down, down that because. When I don't take my damn allergy pills, I'll be looking, looking crazy. Like bitch, be like... So, I don't know. I guess everything happens for a reason. Let's just hope this doesn't get canceled again. Because if it can't, I'm done. Bachelor party canceled. Wedding canceled. Just Jack just... and Joe canceled. Yeah, we're just uh... hoping that this all ends. Everyone stays safe. And honestly, like, yeah, it sucks that our wedding is, you know, postponed. But I honestly feel bad and worse for people that are like having their first baby or just having a baby in general to like have a baby 
and have to be by yourself in the freaking room that's scary or like graduations like high school and college graduations that they're either getting canceled they don't even know when it's gonna happen like oh, that yeah. i feel because i can only imagine being a senior in high school that's like you'll never get that back you, you know you buy a prom dress you do all this and then it's like yeah it's not happening do you have so. anything to tell people good about the coronavirus anything that you've been able to accomplish during this time well i do say like now we have more time i mean we were almost basically done with everything so a lot of the stuff was already done but i guess it gives us more time to like be extra prepared for the wedding and then yeah that's good that's good i guess i'm trying to look for like a silver lining in it so now your like bachelorette has to be even bigger right yeah both ours have you know your bachelor has to be bigger and then like the jack and jill like if we can have a summer jack and jill that would be so lit yeah. like and then everybody coming out of quarantine is gonna want to go crazy so even more people will come and like yeah. so i guess like i don't know like i said i guess everything happens for a reason it is what it is but yeah everybody stay safe hopefully this will be done like as soon as possible i'm like hoping at least by july 1st like all this will be done and yeah, we can all go back to our normal lives. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Follow up with us on our wedding and Jack and Jill and bachelor parties will definitely put up um, some videos on that stuff just to update everybody. Thank you.